I've just bought this second-hand notebook and put Windows 7 on it. The next thing on my to-do list is to be able to get at all the other resources on my home network. If I was running Windows Vista or XP, this would be quite difficult. I'd have had to set up specific shares on the other computers and I'd need to know what the passwords are to get in to those from this computer. All second nature to IT pros, but not so much fun for a consumer. So in Windows 7, we've introduced the concept of the home group. And what I'm able to do is pick that home group up that I've already set up by simply opening the network and sharing center and saying that I'm on my home network. And as soon as I do that, my computer um, asks me about home groups because it realizes this is a capability on the home networks. Now I'm actually going to cancel that because there is already here a home group available to join. So it says that one of my computers, and in fact this one isn't on at the moment, has created a home group on the network. And I can join that. And I can choose what I want to share with the other computers on the home group. I haven't got a printer and I don't have any videos. And now what it's going to ask me to do is to put in the home group password, which I've already set to a simple phrase for the purposes of this demo. You may want something stronger than this. I hit next and I'm done. And now what I can do is open Windows Explorer, browse into the home group and I can see the computers on, my wife's computer. I can have a look at her music. And you get the idea. What's quite interesting though is when I bring home my office notebook and this is joined to a domain. So if I go into here now and do the same exercise, open network and sharing center and say I'm on my home network now. it too comes up with a dialogue about home groups. But notice in this dialogue, it hasn't asked me about what I want to share on this computer, because I don't want to share anything off of my domain controlled notebook. However, I can still join. And when I explore from here now, I can see the laptop I've just joined. I can see my wife's computer. And there's only the sample music on my newly joined laptop here, but it doesn't work the other way around. If I go back over here and uh, look at the home group here now, it's still only showing my wife's computer on here because the domain joined laptop is actually sort of protected. It's one way. It's a one way street. So this means that on this machine, I can um, get at music and other files. Maybe I've done some um, graphics or a PowerPoint deck on my home computer. Maybe I just want to print. But what I can't do is get at anything on here. So this is great for office workers bringing their kit home, and it doesn't compromise the network from the IT pros perspective.